What's going on guys? We are in the holiday season and we have a ton of holiday recipes from desserts to side dishes on our food blog, ketoconnect.net. You can go check those out. And today we're gonna to be making a delicious side dish that you're gonna to wanna to serve at your holiday parties this year. We're making a loaded cauliflower casserole, fresh herbs, bacon, cheese, and of course the main star cauliflower. So this is pretty straightforward, simple, chop, combine, bake kind of recipe. So you can make this ahead of time and then pop it in the oven right before you wanna serve it, or you can just make it and keep it in the warmer and then serve it when people arrive. We have a large head of cauliflower chopped up into florets. And as you can see, my florets are kind of small because that's how I like them. I want like a, a bite-sized cauliflower, but you can do bigger florets if you want. In the bottom of this bowl, there is about three to four tablespoons of water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam this so it gets tender. So there's multiple ways you can do it. Steam it on the stovetop. That's probably the way most people would do it. But we're gonna go in the microwave. It's a little easier, a little less cleanup. So to do it in the microwave, we've got our water in the bottom, cauliflower on top, and then we have wet paper towels here which we're going to cover. And we're just gonna microwave this on high for five to seven minutes, and it should come out nice and fork tender. So as our cauliflower is steaming, we are going to prep the rest of the ingredients. So we have some fresh chives here. We have some green onions, fresh parsley, and then we have some bacon that we've cooked up, and we're gonna chop that and crumble it up as well. If you want to make this easier, you can do everything dried or just in like ground powdered form. You don't have to do the fresh herbs, but I think it takes it to the next level. So let's get to chopping. We got our fresh parsley, and we have some green onion here, which I think will add a lot of nice flavor. And we are gonna save about half of it for the topping, so let's separate that half right now. Put the rest over there. And then we got our bacon that we are going to roughly chop up as well. All right, so we have our bacon roughly chopped up, and so we are also gonna save some of this for the topping. Always, presentation is always very key. So we're gonna add the rest to our pile over here, some here, and the cauliflower is also done, so I'm gonna bring that over. So it's very steamy, very hot, so be careful. That is cooked, looking good, tender, and you can test that with the fork, just poke it with the fork. If it's fork tender, it's good to go. So we're gonna set that aside, let it cool a little while we get our base going, the loaded cauliflower cheese base. I have two ounces of cream cheese room temperature. That is very key, because you wanna be able to mix it in. And to that, we're gonna add 3 fourths cup of sour cream, some garlic powder, all the herbs, the green onions, and the bacon that we set aside. Two teaspoons of brown mustard. So Matt here got some spicy brown mustard, add a little kick there. Um, but any mustard really should work. We always like to have a grain mustard, like a thick grain mustard in the fridge. It's pretty delicious, so that'll also work great. Just a, a mustard will give it a nice little kick. About two teaspoons. And then our cheeses. So we have some sharp cheddar and we have some Monterey Jack. I love a good Monterey Jack. I think it adds a nice creaminess, a nice richness. So we're gonna do half of the amount. So we're gonna do half a cup here and then we're gonna use half a cup for the topping. So this is almost like a cauliflower mac and cheese, but like on steroids, because you got all the fresh herbs, you got the bacon, you got everything in there. We're gonna just give this a quick mix. And then once we add the hot cauliflower in, which we're about to do, everything will combine really, really nicely. So let's pop in our hot cauliflower, along with the water that was in the bottom of the bowl. We're gonna add that as well. So that, again, that was like three tablespoons of water. And you can see everything melting into one another. Beautiful. Oh my God, that smells so good. And do you know what smell I get first? Interestingly, is that mustard. And it's really nice mixed with the herbs. And don't forget when you're making dishes like this, like you don't have to be exact or precise. Add more bacon, add uh, onion. I would love some chopped onion in here, some crunch. Add more cheese, less cheese, whatever you're liking. So here we have a nine by 13 casserole dish. We're gonna spread this in here and then top it with the rest of the cheese, the bacon and the green onions. Okay, oh my God, that's beautiful. This is gonna be a hit at your holiday parties. All right, so now we're gonna do the rest of our cheeses. So half a cup of cheddar cheese. 
half a cup of Monterey Jack. And then our bacon and green onion. And you can even set aside some chives and parsley if you wanna like a little more color going on. So everything in this dish is really salty. You got that bacon, you got all those cheeses. I am gonna add a little more salt on top. I think you could do without though. We have our oven preheated to 375 and we have a large piece of foil. We are going to cover this, bake it for 20 minutes and then remove it and bake it for another five so that that cheese browns. So what this foil is doing, it is capturing all the heat, keeping it in there and really just melting everything together and making it very cheesy, very creamy and tender. So when you eat this, it's just gonna like melt in your mouth. That's what we're going for here. So we got it covered, let's pop it in. We'll be back for a taste test. Here it is guys. I'm taking over on this video since Mega is giving up dairy while breastfeeding. And this has a lot of dairy. This is the opposite of dairy free. Just one tip that pretty much applies to any recipe you ever make. If you're not happy with how the topping is coming off, just pop it on broil for a few minutes and you start getting some nice browned crispy parts going on there. So I left it in for five minutes after I took the tin foil off. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So just broil, high broil for like three minutes. Perfect. So yeah, this crisped up really nice. You can see not very watery. All the water is pretty much gone and you are left with a delicious looking side dish for Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm gonna let it cool for like two minutes, then we'll try it. Okay, it's been two minutes, let's give this a try. I wanna get a little bacon. It's been a while since I had cauliflower. Nice and hearty, flavorful. Yeah, really good side dish. I think your families would definitely love this. It's just as good as like a loaded baked potato type of side dish would be. And whenever we bring side dishes or any kind of recipe to a family gathering, Everyone loves it because they know it's healthy and they're like, that's the healthy side dish. Everyone try this healthy one. Oh, the healthy one's pretty good. Change up the cheeses. I would even do some more intense, like spicy flavors, like some paprika, some cayenne pepper, something like that. Just give it a little kick. Jalapenos, that's a good idea. You could do jalapenos. Overall though, really good recipe. Link on how to make it, the recipe post, is down below. What you can do when you're on our website, you can print the recipes. You can build yourself a little binder full of recipes that you like from our website that are all printed off. You can share the recipes. That helps us. But down below in the description box, check out the recipe. Let us know what other recipes you'd like to see for the holiday time. We got a lot of them already. We got a bunch of cookies. We got some dinner rolls. Got a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching.